Welcome everybody to Yaya, top to bottom. So today we'll be talking about three trends in blockchain and cryptocurrency for 2021. Yaya is a place to be, place where you learn, grow, and succeed. And you look great doing it. So let's start with cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin have dominated media coverage and hype to date, but we'll put a little focus on blockchain. This new technology is positioned to change IT in much the same way open source software did 25 years ago, based on peer-to-peer -peer or P2P -peer topology. Blockchain is a distributed ledger technology, DLT, that allows data to be stored globally on thousands of servers while letting anyone on the network see everyone else's entries in real time. That makes it difficult for one user to gain control of or game the network, right? If you look at current servers right now, uh, whatever, when you store your data, you have no control over your data. If Microsoft had to shut down right now, everything is gone. That's different when it comes to blockchain technology. Today, I'll, I'll be looking at three trends to expect in blockchain tech space in 2021. The first trend to expect in 2021 is cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies will be popular in 2021. 2020 has led the way for a change in perception towards the use of crypto due to the problems the financial ecosystem has experienced as the pandemic continues. We don't even know what's going to happen to 2021. Do you know what? I haven't heard people saying 2021 is my year yet. So it has led Adoption and recognition of cryptocurrencies as the most important development in the in fintech in the year ahead. It is projected that Bitcoin will hit the whole time high of twenty thousand US dollars. Tell me what you think. Comment in the chat below. I don't know if this is right or wrong. I'm not here to offer financial advice, but tell me what you think. High profile investments and endorsements from PayPal, Square, Facebook, JP Morgan, and Samsung has shown that 2021 is potentially going to be a great year for crypto. Watch that space. Again, I repeat, I'm not here to offer financial advice. Digital assets such as central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, and stable coins like USDC, uh, uh, cello dollars in decentralized finance systems will increase adoption and use. After the pandemic, digital assets will become more integrated in our monetary systems. The next blockchain trend to look for in 2021 is P2P based financial services. P2P based financial services will play a more important role than ever. It is driving opportunities and empowerment for customers all over the world, and it is set to continue to do in 2021. In developing countries, P2P or P2P -peer service has been particularly a success. They have given the ability for people to participate in capital markets and achieve upward social mobility. Blockchain technology is driving is a driving platform that is powering peer-to-peer -peer lending or P2P -peer lending and making new applications and business models to flourish. Within the cryptocurrency ecosystem, the rise of peer-to-peer -peer systems largely refers to the growing prominence of decentralized finance systems or DeFi systems for providing services such as asset trading, lending, and earning interest. DeFi or decentralized finance lending platforms have been such a rage in 2020. Again, I would like to hear your thoughts on decentralized finance lending platforms or decentralized finance um, in general. The next blockchain trend to look out for in 2021 is DeFi investment apps. Decentralized financial uh, investment apps will continue to onboard new users. DeFi-based cryptocurrency assets also gained huge amounts of popularity during the pandemic. Online investments have skyrocketed as more people seek out additional sources of passive income and wealth generation. You know, there's been an influx of new retail investors and traders searching for new ways to generate income. The extra time at home 
and stimulus packages in other regions of the world has led to the increase of first-time sign-ups. So tell me what you've been doing during the pandemic. Did you get a stimulus package or have you thought of other investment of opportunities that you, you would like to share with the rest of the world and uh, preferably in cryptocurrency and um, we do not accept scams. So anything scammy, we do not accept that. But anything that you've come across that would really um, in, encourage somebody out there to look into the cryptocurrency and blockchain space, please comment in the chat below. Robinhood experienced viral growth to that respect with new investors trading Dogecoin. Hmm. Meme, a meme cryptocurrency. I think a lot of us have come across Dogecoin and sometimes we thought it had no value at all, right? Uh, based on content created on TikTok. So you could make money with anything. TikTok and cryptocurrency. Who knows? The next blockchain trend to look out for in 2021 is death of analog regulation and more unified fintech regulation. I think regulation has been a huge topic and I think it has been a hindrance to growth. So what's next in the regulatory space? Well, there is an expectation of the review of regulation that require in-person contact and incorporating digital alternatives to streamline these requirements. There'll be efforts to collaborate and harmonize regulations that are similar in nature. On the local scene, South Africa's financial sector conduct authority, FSCS said, I quote, globally, there's rapid growing interest by retail investors to purchase crypto assets. South Africa has also experienced an exponential increase in the provision and use of crypto assets. They drafted a declaration of crypto assets as a financial product under the Financial Advisory and Intermediary Services Act, FAIX, or FAIS for some people. The declaration would have the effect that any person furnishing advice or rendering intermediary services in relation to crypto assets must be authorized under the FAIS Act as a financial services provider quite exciting for the blockchain space and quite scary for some people. This means cryptocurrency service providers, including crypto exchanges, advisors, and brokers, they will have to register with the FSCA as financial services providers, FSPs. So far, it fell short of getting to regulate, legitimize, or give credence to crypto assets, but this is a step in the right direction. So tell me what you think about that too. For now, Yaya is out. I'll catch you later, same time next week. Remember to keep it top to bottom, Yaya.